Hey guys, what's going on? Yes, the darkness is back for some reason. Uh, but this is a uh, Retro Asylum, and I want to talk a little bit about um, Amazon. Am I doing any FBA this year? Uh, what were my holiday plans going into this year? And this year, people will probably call me stupid uh, that, you know, think that I'm kind of taking it easy this year. But because this is kind of my starting phase on eBay. And I don't really have, like I said, a whole lot of working capital right now with money coming in to buy these products. I'm really trying to bulk up the inventory to get more and more and more and more money later on. So I am having to pay a little bit of money up front uh, right now. So once I get inventory, I think next year I'll be really, really geared to get stuff to flip uh, and really pay more attention. This year's kind of like the learning experience for me, uh, getting back on eBay and learning how to find things flip things uh, in my area so I'm learning a lot of things as well too and some things I might not talk about on this channel but it's not nothing that you're gonna be like oh, oh game changer you know <laughs> it's just being smart about your area you know and that's what you got to do you got to be smart about what you do but today I kind of just want to talk about how I've been doing and how I've been you know if I sold anything uh, I did have a couple sales the past few days uh, I, I, I sold a cassette Another thing, uh, people that think you can't sell single cassettes for $5, I'm continuing to prove you wrong, because I am. Um, and, and the thing about it is, if you take the time, and I don't clean everything, but I do test every single cassette uh, that, I, that I list. And some people may not take that effort, and they may just throw it up and just take a chance if it works, but don't work. Um, but I test every single cassette that I put up. I don't test the CDs that I've sold. Um, those are pretty much untested, and I think I put untested on there. Um, but pretty much they're, whew, they're taking the risk on that, the CDs. But the sets, yeah, I'm pretty, like, I, I listen to it, and if there's something wrong with it, um, I'll, I'll make sure I put it in the description that, hey, you know, there's something wrong with it. And I've only had, like, so far, of all the sets I've ever gotten, there's only been, I think, one, like, was completely effed up, and I just threw it in the garbage. Um because it just wasn't worth it. A couple ones still played, you can hear the music, it was just kind of faded. One was like really bad and it was completely faded throughout the CD. What I mean faded is like the sound was kind of drowned out and the songs, you could tell the songs were being played but it wasn't at full capacity at what they should sound like. Um, and the other one was like going in and out, in and out, in and out, doing that same thing. Um, so, I've only had two so far and the, one of them was a single and then one was like a full cassette. I think the Outfielders or whatever. And I don't know if I... I think I listed it already. It's for sale. Uh, you can purchase it and try your luck and listen to it. If you really, really like that band and want the cassette, um, you know, whatever. Uh, but, yeah. So I test a lot of stuff. I don't test everything. But I don't really get into electronics right now. I'm kind of scared to get into electronics. Um, there is a few things, like gaming-wise, I get. Um that I put up, you know, and I, and I don't really take returns, but if somebody, you know, I don't really get on my laptop a whole lot to deal with my account. I do everything on my on the phone, so it's kind of interesting to do that. Uh, I did have an interesting, oh, and I also sold, before I get into the interesting thing that had happened to me, um, let's talk about what I sold. Uh, I did sell a Mortal Kombat uh, controller. I think I, and you've probably seen it if you followed the channel. You've seen me. I don't know if this was on the Brad Cheddar channel that I picked it up on, uh, or if it was on Retro Asylum. But I picked it. I picked up a Mortal Kombat controller at a yard sale. I think for two or three bucks, and it looks really cool. I mean, it's a Mortal Kombat controller, and it switches. I think between PS3 and Xbox One. I think that's what it was. And it's really neat. Because at the time, I don't think PS4 had come out yet. But Xbox One was out. I think PS4... PS4 took a, took a while to come out. Uh, but Xbox One, you know, it, it it was already out. So this controller must have been somewhere in there. And it's a pretty pricey controller. Uh, I didn't really haggle with the price. Because of the I, I got like $20 profit on the damn thing. So I couldn't really complain. Um... But I was asking 35, uh, and the person offered 25, and I'm like, hey, I need the cash, man. I, I need the money to keep rolling. I'll take it. Somebody wants it. I didn't, 
And, and that's the thing too, like some of this stuff, like the prices are all over the place and you really just gotta kinda, you know, judge a little bit by some of the solds. But some of the solds, like why are they selling it for so low? Like let's set the price a little higher and see what happens. And I did, and I get, you know, around what I asked for. And 35 to 25 is not that bad. $10 less, that's not too bad, really not. Oh, uh, so that's pretty good. I uh, also sold a kid's book. It, it was, uh, I think it's a kid's book. Yeah, it's a really nice, like, Monsters uh, University book, I think. And it has, like, some cool things about Monsters University. Uh, I sold that. Um, I think it was five bucks. And shipping was, shipping was kind of low. I don't know if I'm going to make much money off of that. I may lose a little bit of money. Um, but really, some of this stuff is... And I've talked about this in previous videos. And some of this stuff is my son's stuff that he's outgrew. Or he just doesn't want anymore. And that's what some of the stuff is. So, really, they've already got their value. So, now I'm just selling it. So, any value we get back from it is profit to me, purely. So, that's the way I see it. Um, so, yeah, doing pretty good. Um... And I'm, I'm pretty much staying at about a $300 uh, every two months average, which is not bad. That's not bad, but it's not good enough to stay afloat, really. So I'm looking forward to getting more and more items listed so that my, you know, my output increases and things like that. Um, what are you doing? Why are people wanting to be assholes? People are dumb. <laughs> like I'm literally sitting here and his dude is deciding I don't know what he was deciding he's like going really slow in front of me with freaking I don't even know what that was I think it was a four wheeler like in Indiana like how cold is it outside like why do you have a four wheeler on a trail I'm not even gonna ask these people in this town I live in I tell you right now they are not the smartest bunch of monkeys out there right now. Anyways, no racist puns mean it's mostly white around here. <laughs> Still be monkeys. That's all I'm saying. Anyways. <laughs> uh, but yeah, a lot of crap. A lot of crap. Uh, not too bad, though. Making a few sales every once in a while. But I did have something happen where I don't think I talked about this in the previous video is that I had a somebody try and return something. And I don't accept returns. I would accept a return if it was my fault, okay? But I do not accept returns if somebody's gonna buy something and then try and be all stupid and be like, oh, I didn't see, and usually this is supposed to be a different size at certain stores. And I'm like, what does that have anything to do with it? Like, if you see something online, you need to check the size before you buy it. And it was a piece of kids' clothing. And it said, plain as day in the pictures, what size it was. Plain as day. Five, six. And they were like, oh, this size, a, a youth medium is normally, it, it's so close to when it happened, so I remember all the details. It's so, it, it, you know, size medium is normally an eight in boys' clothing. That's why she bought it. But in the second picture, if she would have looked at all the pictures, that's what's wrong with these people today. They're like, oh, they see one picture, and they're like, Psh, purchase. And it's like, dude, you got to look at everything. You never know. Like, I could be selling, like, I could be selling, like, a piece of fabric off of that coat. And I would have been directly in the in the right if she wouldn't have read the description. You know, I could have been selling, selling just the hood off of this coat that I sold her, you know? And I would have got away with it. Because she didn't read and she didn't look at the damn pictures. So, I don't know. There you go. But what I basically did is say, you know, I, I, I messaged her and I said, you know, sorry about that. I said, sorry about the misunderstanding. But it does say clearly the size in picture number two. Now, I may still get this in the mail and I'll have to refund her the money. But I did tell her that, well, you're going to have to pay for the shipping back. And the shipping cost is going to be, you know, I'll give her the money back somehow. I'll figure it out somehow how to give her everything back. But I told her, like, it has to go through eBay, so you're going to have to do a, a thing. So more than likely, like, I haven't heard anything from her. So she may have just chalked it up to, oh, well, yeah, he, 
he did say it was my fault. And since it's not him, he's not going to pay up. Or he's not going to pay up. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, he's not one of those people. Or they could just, you know, file a PayPal claim or eBay claim and, and cut me out entirely and say there's something wrong. But, you know, when they say there's something wrong with with uh, your stuff, you know, you gotta, you got to watch that. And like I said, I haven't been on there for a while, but you got to... I don't want to start on the bad, bad, you know, foot. And, you know, I just watched Garage List video uh, tonight, which happened. He did this video, like, a few days after this happened to me. But it, it did make me think about, you know, how he said, you know, don't let one experience ruin everything for you. And it's like, yes, I would take returns if something was very, like, drastic. Like, somebody thought, I don't know, like, why would I take a return? I don't take returns. It says on the thing I do not take returns. <laughs> Uh, eventually, I'll take returns. But right now, I just can't afford it. My business model right now, I just can't afford it right now. Um, I'm trying to flip and make as much money as possible. I don't have time to sit here and miss with Mary Jane that can't read a picture on a flipping you know website. It's like, dude, read. I'm not. No, I'm not. No, no, no. You can keep it. You figure out how to get rid of it. You sell it. <laughs> it's like, I already sold it. I got my money. You paid me the money it was worth. And I, I shouldn't have to try and sell it again because you're an idiot. Um... So that's the way, that's my sense, my take on it. It's like, I, I will take something back if it's if it's my fault. If I would have, like, let's say I wouldn't have took a picture of the tag. And it wouldn't have been as clear as what it was. Like, literally, I had a zoom up picture of the size on the coat that said M. And underneath it said 5 slash 6. Like, it said it clear as day. The picture was... This phone that I'm using that do like YouTube and eBay, like it has a pretty damn good camera. Like this picture was clear as day. Like if you were blind, you might have even seen this picture. Like that's how like obvious it was. So that's the part of the thing where I go, mm, no, that's not my fault. I'm not paying for it. I'm not gonna say keep it. I'll give you the money back. I'm, no, I'm not gonna do that. Um, you made the mistake, you can send it back to me if you want your money back. But if not, then sorry, you're lost. You you can't read. So, you know, like any other time, I'd be all over it. And I would, you know, but I'm trying to think of a situation where I would take a return. I think if I was in the fault, I would take a return. Uh, like if, if, I want to say if something got broken, I probably would probably, most, maybe, maybe maybe do a refund. Do something. I mean, it matters how much it is. Like, if it's an item that was like $3.99 and I paid like $3.50 shipping and you know, it got broke in the mail like, I, if I didn't pack it that well, like, I know, like there's a couple things lately that I'm surprised didn't get broken. But came back like, person's like, oh, item was awesome! And I'm like, thank God it got there. Because I know I tried out my new envelopes and I actually put a cassette in there one time and kind of double wrapped it and, and kind of prepped it a little bit. But, you know, overall, like, it wasn't prepped that well. So, like, it could have could have ended badly with that. But it got their good. They, they got their item. They enjoy it. Uh, good product. Ready to go. Yeehaw. Uh, yeah, but that's all I got today. I just want to shoot a little bit of a short little video uh, and get up for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh... Like I said, just doing pretty much normal reselling this time of the year. Uh, maybe next year I get my inventory more up and, I'll, and my out, output of money will be growing so that I can get really into reselling next year and bump it up. Um, I, I do think Christmas is when you really take an initiative. Um, or wait, I guess I should say the, the winter season or the holiday season is when you really start bumping it up and bumping up your game normally uh, in reselling because that's when you make a lot of your money. Um, I have seen these amount of sales that I probably wouldn't have got otherwise. Um, besides that, this, you know, craziness going on. Uh, anyways, like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. Tell me which, if you found any good deals around that you, it shocks you, what's some cool sales you got. Uh, and uh, yeah, keep rocking. Hope you enjoy the videos. Stay cool. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to add things and it's not working. 
yeah, just keep rocking and keep reselling. Later, guys.